Hey, sweetie, aren't you excited to watch a stupid girly movie with me on Netflix? Not when there's a new Switch the Envelope that just dropped on Apple Podcasts. That's right. You've dressed up in your Gucci or your Giorgio Armani suit. Unfortunately, you're fucking stuck at home. You're not going to have sex for months. So you slap on the hand sanitizer and you listen to some Switch the Envelope. Headline Hollywood. Entertainment cronies and cinema elitists hand out awards for excellence in moving pictures. Sometimes the winners don't hold up to the test of time. So we're here in the future to tell them how they got it wrong. This is Switch the Envelope. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the first quarantine episode of Switch the Envelope. Unfortunately, Corey will not be here. He's on assignment with our best supercomputer, Al. We want to let you know that we will be having two guests, two guests that we are excited to have, Lexi and Nikki, the hosts of the Sex with Candy podcast on the Riff Laugh Network. We are hoping to have Corey back very soon so that we can enjoy his lovable self, on the next episode of Switch the Envelope. You can find all Switch the Envelope episodes on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or anywhere podcasts are streamed. Now let's get to the show. Let's talk about the word Karen for a second. Oh. How did the word Karen get related to angry Republican white women? I don't know, but I, I, I'm pretty sure it has nothing to do with actual people named Karen. There's a radio show in Southern California, and yeah. every single one of their posts every single day is about the word Karen being associated with angry Republican white women. Right. Every no, single day. No, I see them a lot too, but I don't know why. I don't know why the word. I don't know why the um, name Karen, not like Jenny or Jamie or something. I know. Soon I people are going to think it's like the word. It's going to be associated like the word Richard is with Dick. 